All right, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Montana, here for another awesome episode of In The Flow. Guess what? I am going to be talking to Tony Grant from Love Thy Neighbor on OWN TV by Tyler Perry. All right, and I've got Latoya Garrett of B-Fly Entertainment, and she's here to discuss her new play, The Devil Is A Liar. I'm telling you, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be crazy. So you just stick right there. to Dallas. Tell us a little bit about that and how Tony fits into that. Well, um, the play has got a lot of stuff going on. It's a roller coaster ride of drama. Um, just, just all kinds of things. Redemption. We got some cheating going on. Depression. Mm. Suicidal attempts. Mm. It's just crazy. That sounds like everyday life. Yes, right? everyday, everyday life. life. Coming to life right. on the stage. Yes, I'm, I touch on real life issues because we talk about trying to get people in the church, but you got to get outside the church to pull them into the church. So that's what I focus on, you know. So it's always a message. I'm always trying to save somebody, trying to help somebody. So that's what it's about. And you know, I hear so you're talking about suicide, and you know, mm -hmm. we do not talk about that in the black community. We don't. We do we don't. not talk about it. I mean, what you know, most you're gonna hear is go pray, go talk to the pastor. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. But that's not always the answer. Right. Mm -hmm. And when we see, you know, some of these stars like Robin Williams, like how did that mm -hmm. affect you guys when you saw that he committed suicide? He had died. What did you think about that? Wow. <laughs> I wasn't, I was shocked, but I wasn't shocked because people don't realize celebrities have problems too. And more so, oftentimes more than we do as normal people because mm -hmm. of what they go through. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Talk about, I know you know all about that. Too. Yeah, I do. Uh, it's a lonely world. It's definitely a lonely world. You don't know who to trust. You don't know who you can put your confidence in. You can't really talk to anybody because you don't know if they're going to put it out there. Now, see, I could just imagine that a whole lot of women would love to talk to you, would love for you to just say, hey, tell me all your problems, Tony, and would listen. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. You know, so. To but then me, get mad at me and then it'll be all over the internet. And, and, and then everybody right. knows Blast what's going you. on. Hey, right. That, that happens. That does happen. You know, in the business that we do, you know it happens. Yeah. I mean, but when you think of some of an actor like Robin Williams, he made people laugh, yes. you know, and then to, to right. hear that, you know. But you know him as an actor, but and not as a person. Right. You don't know what he was going through. Well, he had a, and he had an illness that he had carried around for a long for a time. very long time. So I'm sure that uh, brought some depression to his life. And he had a, a marriage that wasn't going the way he, I'm sure, wanted it to go. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot that I think that he was dealing with, but I don't. Me personally, I don't think it was worth suicide. Right on. Right. I don't think it was worth taking my life over. Um, and we all, you know, we, 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 like you said earlier, we were told to go to God, you know, pray, go to church, and all of those things. But sometimes you just need to talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. Just somebody that can relate to what you're talking about. And if they can't relate, just stop listening in. How do you, like, what, what type of things do you do? Because I know that, you know, you're around a lot of, Big people, Tyler Perry, mm -hmm. Latoya Gary. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm you know, up here right. I'm working you know, on it. You, you, you around <laughs> some major people. I yeah. mean, you're on the own network. You know right. what I'm saying? Yes. I mean, that's you major. Know, that's major, <laughs> exactly. How do you deal with it, though? Like, how do you keep grounded? Well, first of all, I'm from North Carolina, so I'm country. That's all I know. Oh, okay. okay. Um, <laughs> I don't believe the hype. I look at the gift and the gift giver. 
and that's what I focus on. I know that God gave me these gifts, and um, Tyler Perry is another man that God gave a gift to, mm -hmm. and we share in that arena. Okay. And we try to spread the good news. You know, even Oprah Winfrey, I'm so grateful that I'm allowed to be on her network, but she's a woman mm -hmm. that has a gift mm -hmm. as well, and they're no different from me. Right on. They gotta put their pants on one leg at a time. They do it the same right? way. So yeah, exactly. I don't. Sleep, the I don't age. believe the hype of it. And when I when I run across fans, they they would you know they're like, oh, you with Tyler, you with mm -hmm. Oprah. Oh my gosh, what is that like? And I'm like, it's just like I'm standing here. It's work. Like, but okay, let, let's just be for real though. Let's just be now. When you initially met Tyler, have you met Oprah? Yes. Uh, tell me you didn't like turn into a groupie. I did. What? I'm gonna tell you how I met her. Okay. I sung in front of her before I met her. And the fact that she was sitting there. Because you knew. See, that's how they do, ladies. <laughs> they start singing to you next thing you know. And you pulling over. them up. No, 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 no. no, no. Now, now, now I'm going to tell you this, the crazy part. I'm going to tell you how I met Tyler, then I'm going to tell you how I met Oprah. I was doing a play called um, Why Do Good Girls Like Bad Boys. Okay, yeah. I was in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Tyler was homeless. Mm -hmm. He snuck backstage, and he said to me, he said, you know what, um, I'm an upcoming playwright. I want to work with you one day. I said, just call me. He mm -hmm. did. He was, I was here in Dallas. He was in Houston, Texas with, I can do bad all by myself. Mm -hmm. He flew me from here to te Houston. Mm -hmm. And that's when I first saw his Wow, play. you would, see, look at wow. that. You know what, before we get into this, because you just said something that has just been in my spirit. Uh oh come on. Because <laughs> sometimes we forget what it was like. Mm -hmm. When we got started yes. in doing what we were doing, yes. and the fact that this man came to you, and he was in a weakened state, in a weakened mm -hmm. state, mm -hmm. and he came to you and you said, "Hey, you know," and you could have, you what, what you did, yeah, yeah, who are you? Yeah. You know, you could have been like that. I mean, I had I had some serious accolades at that time. That's when I was touring the world with As Yet and mm -hmm. all of that stuff. But he came to me in a humble manner, you know. And even if he had come at me another way. If I can help, mm -hmm. if I can help, I'm going to help. But he has blessed my life tremendously, mm -hmm. and he's blessed my family. So he's put me in now in the family of Oprah. You were being a life. blessing to him just allowing him to come into your life and say, hey, right. call me. Yeah. Let's work together. Let's yeah. do something. Right. So that, that goes to folks. So that's what's up with, uh, with you. How did y'all come about? Um, how did you come about finding Tony for this stage play, The Devil is a Liar? Oh, my God. Doing what I do best, talking. <laughs> I was talking to someone about um, the play, you know, my dreams, my goals, what I want to do. Not for anything in return, just talking about what I want to do. And um, after I finished talking to her, she was like, you know, I'm going to help you out. She was like, I know him. That's a good friend of mine. I'm going to have him give you a call. And just and like that. Just went from there. It Look at God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you hear me? Look mm -hmm. at that. So, okay, so tell us, when will, I mean, I know you, you have a lot of productions going on. I actually had the opportunity to be in one. Yes. I think you're an awesome writer. Thank you. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing this stage Thank play. You. Um, and what, she's talking about the exotic experience. Yes, fashion show. It was a fashion show, <laughs> but of course me, I have to do yeah. something different. So yes. it was theatrical. I was a you remember that snake pilot. around the mountain? Oh yeah, that was. Mm -hmm. yeah. She was here. brave. She was yeah. brave. The snake. We oh, had a big ball python snake. Is it going to be snakes and the uh, devil? No, no, no. 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 It's some snakes, but it's not the kind of slither. It's oh, okay. Like <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about your role in the devil is a liar. Uh, I'm, I stir everything up. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I bring the controversy, not knowing that I'm really being controversial. Yeah, really. But, uh, yeah, this this guy is. Um, <laughs> and you know what? I, I love this. It, it's it's a camouflage type of situation. Comes in as a nice guy, mm. very good guy with those skeletons back there. Mm. Your when past they, come back to haunt you, huh? They they, they never released. They <laughs> well, you know, hey, we always that's what they say. You meet the representative yeah. of the person when you initially, and then you kind of see it all, kind of find out who oh, they are. Really mm -hmm. See you now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that that's that's sort of that. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, no, no, let me take that back. We all know each other. We just didn't know of what caliber. Um, what level? Yeah, what level the the relationships were of on? Interaction. Yeah, <laughs> which we don't know. And I mean, we all have some things in our past that you know we ain't told nobody about. Yeah. And then somehow they pop up in the present. Ooh, and now you know, know what? how to handle it. We're going to talk about that. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah we're going to talk about that. Y'all keep it locked right here. Don't move your mouth. We'll be right back <laughs> in the flow.
I was raised extremely prejudiced. And my uncles would say stuff like, oh, you got snow bunny. It just seemed like I was told that I was contaminated. Um, white guys weren't going to date me because I'd been with black guys or I'd had sex with black guys or that my child was mixed, that they could never accept my child. Um, or that the white family of a boyfriend could not accept there my child because she was mixed. Incidents where there was black women who was offended because I was dating a white woman. Or my, actually not dating, it's my wife. We've been together 20 some years and we still get flack. Um, really? I, I felt before about the sellout. And that surprised me to tell you the truth. Uh, why would black women be so, I don't even know what you want to call it. I don't want to say insecure. I don't, I don't know what it is. And to me, I feel like there's a lot of good black women out here. Maybe he didn't take the time to, you know. Without even knowing him? Without even knowing him. Yes, I'm okay. telling you, that's, you asked me my honest opinion. I did outside my race. It's been proven um, that a school. lot of black mothers will tell their black sons then white girls get you in trouble. I always had excuses. I done been in and out of court, have lost a job. Ain't no white woman did that shit to me. Toya Garrett. All right, we just got into some good stuff mm -hmm. with, okay, this stage play, The Devil is a Lion, coming to Dallas. We're so excited about it. And uh, you said everybody's got a past. Oh, yeah. 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 So tell us about yours, Tony. My past, uh, the good side or the bad side? I don't, you know what? Let's go with the, let's start with the good part. Okay, the good, I was um, raised in the church. I was raised by an amazing mother. And grandparents were absolutely fantastic. Um, I played sports, got a full ride scholarship to the University of Tennessee after playing one year of football. I uh, played every sport I could possibly play uh, because there was nothing else to do in North Carolina. Okay. Except climb trees and chase cows and stuff like that. Okay. I did all of that. And, uh, but uh, I fell by the wayside, you know, uh, as most young people do trying to sow their wild oats, mm -hmm. figure mm -hmm. out what's going on with their life. I'm, yeah, I was the outcast here. Uh, remember that show uh, uh, from, from uh, what was it called? It was a reality show. Something to Prince. It was some Ugly Duck and the Prince. Ugly okay. Duck and the Prince or something like that. They that saw, was you? That was me. They saw some pictures on Facebook and they asked me to be on the show. Really? Wow. Yeah. And I was like, just like that. Just like that. I was like, nah, was I really that bad? That's okay. Kid. I'm like, wow. Come on, man. Don't do me like well, that. I was very, very insecure. Kid. You have to grow into yourself. That's what I it did. Is. You I have did. to grow into your body. I mean, I was so, I was so, I was so insecure as a kid. My grandmother was like, oh boy. Don't worry about it. If you're ugly as a kid, you're gonna be gorgeous as a man. I was like, all right, watch out now. Okay. And look at well, then I really know what she was talking about. Well, I ain't no I don't know about all that, but <laughs> and you ain't no ugly duckling. Well, no, I ain't no ugly duckling. Okay, so hey, Granny was right. All right. <laughs> it kinda happens like that. Um, so how did you now you said you were in a music group? I know I'm yes. like I did not know you were R&B singer. See, I yeah. always thought you were acting. That's what I know. No, I started I was singing before I was acting. Mm. And I was in, then I started doing them both at the same time. Um, That's a lot of groupies, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was the worst part about your music career and, and all of that? Being in a group of guys and everybody didn't have the same vision. Mm. Yeah. That was the worst part. It was very hard, very hard. You know, they, Different mentality. Totally, because I was looking at longevity. Because I, I enjoyed you were them loving checks. it. Yeah, I enjoyed yeah. the checks coming in. I okay. truly did. Real checks easy. look real good. Visual Traveling easy. the world mm -hmm. and and seeing different places and people and, and so were they not they, they, oh, no, they, no, they, they, they were chasing them? girls and chasing the girls and 
you know, doing their little private time in and all that stuff. And I was like, I don't know. Mm. I did that in college. Let's mm-hmm. do this. Mm-hmm. Right. And that it was so frustrating because we just weren't on the same page. How do you? So you know the show that comes on TV One Unsung. I love yes. that show. Do you watch it? Yes. So will you, will as yet make it possibly? Or possibly. What do you think when you like see some of those groups that were around oh, when you were when you were part of that group and you see them on Unsung and hear those stories? To know that they went through some of the same things that we did, like. I watched the one with, with Troop the other day, and mm-hmm. I was like, ooh. That sound like that's, y'all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of that. Even behind the scenes. Yeah. You know, with the record labels and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's, that's real stuff. Real that's the, that's the hard part that's of the, the, hard the part. ugly truth of Real the, stuff. That whole TLC thing, mm-hmm. that was real, real stuff. Tony Braxton, real stuff. Did you have any romances with any females in R&B? Back in the Gap? Hmm. Uh, keep thinking, y'all. Yeah, I have to think. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess. I can't you can't. You ain't gonna say it. Dang. He can't throw shade. He can't throw any shade. He can't do that. Can't do that. No. And then, you ain't with good people. You, you don't, we don't want you to break the bro code. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can't do that. I'll, I'll break the bro code. You will. Some, in some cases, not in that case. Mm-hmm. But uh, no, they were really, really nice people. Nice ladies, and they're, they're still very nice. Ladies. Okay. No, we gonna we'll take that. that. Yeah, we we'll gonna take that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and what about you, Latoya? Like, how did you get started in in writing these awesome plays? Mm-hmm. I just love writing. I mean, it is what it is. This is Devil Is a Liar is the first play I've ever written. Okay, ever full length play. I've written like small little skits and you know just different little things, but I took a challenge and uh, decided to write a whole play. Write a whole play. Yeah. So that's different from it is so. So that's different, different from the exotic. You have to write a story. story. This is a story. <laughs> this yes. Is a story. And I like to write stories. And my cast was like, from the very first page all the way to the end, they had to find out what's going on. And they bugged me mm-hmm, behind the camera. Can we please have part two, please, guys? We gotta just see what's gonna happen. So it's yeah. like that. It's, so that's how they on the edge. They say. Is that how you felt when you read the stage? Oh one? my gosh! I was like, whoa. So when you read it, so that and, and that that that's all I could do is go whoa. <laughs> like so do you happen? read? Okay, so every opportunity when people bring you plays, or mm-hmm. I heard you in a movie, mm-hmm. you know, bringing you, you read them. I read them. Oh yeah. And so do you make that decision? You got people that like say, Tony, you no, should do this. No, no, no. <laughs> it's it's got to come through. <laughs> it's got to come from you. Okay. Got to come to me. I've done that in the past. Like somebody said, man, you need to sing this song, and I'm what? <laughs> I'm not singing this. Okay. So it has to come through me, and, and I'm I'm more of a um, it's gotta have a vibe, right? You know, you know what I'm saying. There's a lot of people that write plays about love and about different things, but if it doesn't have that vibe to it, even musically, it's gotta have a vibe. Mm-hmm. So I won't do it unless it has that. And when I read that script, I was like, whoa, that's what's up. Whoa, are you gonna be singing in this play? Yeah. Oh, they okay. so you like of course oh, we gotta hear his Tony's voice. gonna oh, come. Okay. He's gotta see. You gotta hear his voice now. That is awesome. <laughs> well, you guys keep it locked right there. We'll be back with more from my girl Latoya Garrett and Tony Grant. Hey, Amen. Is there anyone else? B-Fly Entertainment is excited to announce the return of the hot stage play production, The Devil Is a Liar, featuring Tony Grant, written by Latoya Garrett. This production is about one family's power to overcome the devil's blows as they struggle through infidelity, incest, insecurities, and issues. Thank you, God, for restoring me. No cast for the friend that home ain't saying nothing about no friend. Wait a minute. Did you just call me a home? On September 20th, 2014, two shows at 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. The Granville Arts Theater. Tickets can be purchased at the door or discounted tickets purchased in advance at www.devillya.eventbrite.com or by calling 214-854-9291.
All right, we're back in the flow. So, Tony, tell us, what do you have coming up? Woo, I uh, got a movie I did uh, about Muhammad Ali called The Last Punch. It's coming okay. out in January. I got an album, a solo album coming out in January okay. as well. I'm um, on the show Love Not Neighbor. Um, I'm about to go on tour with a play called um, Mrs. Independent. Uh, my wife and I have a television talk show called Man Talk. Okay. That uh, we, that's going into production real soon. Um, I'm continuously writing, <laughs> and um, and then I'm gonna sit down somewhere. I gotta <laughs> ask you real quick though. So you know, now you got this new album. You're doing things solo, dolo. Mm -hmm. Do you like that better than being yes in a group? Yes, yeah, I do. I mean, I, everybody was always telling me you need to do it, but I, I enjoyed being in a group because I love harmonies and pull, putting those together. But everybody was like, mm, when we sing live, oh, they were like, okay, you're a little different. Okay. You need to be That's some shade. I need the shade bell, y'all. <laughs> that was some shade right there, Tony. Let me wait the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, you need to be by yourself. And I was like, nah, I'm going to take my boys with me. I'm good. Let's yeah, roll. Yeah, we'll but, try. But, you know, again, <laughs> we all have to be on the same page. Right on. That's okay. We like that team playing you. Mm -hmm. um, what about you, Latoya? What you have coming up? Devil is a liar. Okay. Devil is a liar, and devil is a liar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And we also have the Exotic Experience Christmas oh. special fashion show. You know, we trying to get the red snakes. We trying to get the red snakes this time oh, no. for the show. Uh, see, uh, see, I, I thought you was gonna say something about me being a. You know, you gonna you gonna be the same. You like yeah, cool with that? We already talking about it. Y'all gonna be elves this time instead of airplane pilots and stewardess. So yeah, yeah it's gonna be yeah, some elves and little so Santa babies. You sure can. Cause I'm gonna get rid of them. Snakes. You're gonna get rid of, <laughs> get rid of them snakes. Yeah, snakes. I know how to I'm scared of snakes, them. but you know, hey, I like to bring something crazy to the show. You know? Bring a tiger or jack. Uh, oh, heck no. Cool no, 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 her little oh, hat was lighting up. Remember her little flight attendant hat? You, I ain't sure tiger. we don't we don't do that. Ooh, a panther. We don't do no rats wow. and rodents and all of that. <laughs> we had Black Tarzan. You remember May? The stripper. Black Tarzan. Oh, yeah. Black Tarzan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just lift your hands. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> hey. He didn't come out in any clothes, you know. He, he should have. Clothes. No. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so tell us, how can we stay uh, keep in touch with you guys via social media? Well, you can go to Facebook and like Be Fly Project, or you can like The Devil Is a Liar. Either way, okay. and I'm always accessible by phone. Y'all know that. Ooh. I'm gonna keep the same number. Okay. Two one four eight five four nine two nine one. Y'all know the number. Okay. Hey, you should put a number out there. Yeah. I can't put my number. Out there. We don't want no 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 crazy psycho. <laughs> no crazy. No. no. Okay. You ain't calling for tickets or business. Don't call me. I like the psycho. Tell me, come on. Y'all no, call me. No, 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 no. No, you can get to me with uh, Instagram. It's uh, T Grant six two one, or Tony Grant my fan page on Facebook and Twitter is Tony Grant Life. Okay, I'm gonna need you to delete some of your friends on Facebook so we can be friends. <laughs> I'm gonna start a new page. You gonna start a new yeah, page? Yeah, I delete my friends. And that's like deleting a ticket. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's how I look at it. Okay, okay. well that is a way to, to do it. <laughs> well, when you get that new page, you make sure you friend me. Okay. Right. Um, now before we go, because I like to do what um, this segment called WTF. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what is your w WTF moment, national, globally, whatever? And when you say WTF, what the? Uh, I knew. Okay, because I didn't know that. Well, I'm I thought going, that's what you were saying. I just wanted to confirm. Yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. Um, you want to? I mean, pertaining to what? Anything? What's going on? That's just got you saying, man. This ISIS going? thing is like, what the? Mm, it's got mm, you. They come over here messing with me. I'm having fun. You see, I got this mark. I've been playing with bows and arrows, trying to learn how oh, to shoot. Oh, really? You ready? I got three home? kids to protect. I'm not trying. No, that no. is crazy. Yes, that is. Do you crazy. watch any of those videos? I that don't. Is, but crazy. the fact of the matter that you know that ISIS is trying to pick a location and then you're on the radio saying Dallas is the number one skyline in the world. I'm like, why would you do why that? Why would you do that? Wow. <laughs> so, um, yeah. That's a good WTF. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is. What about you, Tony? My WTF is, what the f was Jerry thinking letting Manziel get away? Oh my God. <laughs> 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 I am the Cowboys fan. What is oh, You know what? I'm God. really thinking that Jerry is now and Bipolar, he's just something yeah, yeah. That, you know and y'all saw those pictures of him with the little girls all around his crotch uh, clearly 
Jerry is got yeah, he, he got too much time on his you know, he ain't he ain't thinking straight. And you keep it Tony Romo. He is not thinking straight. Oh. <laughs> that's who I mean I'm just saying. I mean... That's my WTF. That's probably going to be my WTF for the next 10 years. Okay. Well, you know what? You you kind of sparked the WTF in me when you were talking about the new movie that you in, Muhammad Ali. The Last Ali, Punch. The yes. Last Punch. Yes. Okay, Ray Rice. Okay, we got to talk Ooh. about... <laughs> we got... That was The Last Punch. Okay, for Ooh. Ray Rice. What a good one. <laughs> and it's a lot of things. You know, it's like every day is something new. Right. What do you what do you think about the whole situation between him and his wife now, Janae Palmer? I personally think the league is that that's that's I don't think that's right. What you don't think that he should have been indefinitely? No, I don't. Okay. I don't. That 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 was their personal relationship. That had nothing to do with his business. Right. right. That makes perfect sense. Um, I think that. They don't ever need to drink another drink. <laughs> ever, ever. Can't control it. <laughs> yeah, don't and, consume I, it. and then too, I, and then too, I look at the fact that, you know, he he's he he's, he's totally different from us. We walk around and and you know we we don't really have to be on a heightened sense at watching our back. He, on the other hand, is at a heightened sense twenty four seven because I'm sure he sees a big linebacker coming at him while he's sleeping. Mm, right. You know what I'm saying? So right. he's always up here and, and, and it's difficult, as difficult as it is for what he's trying to process, he has to try to understand that it's much more difficult for her because she's got to deal with those mood swings and all that stuff from playing football. I play football, so mm, I know what that's all about. Saying. You lose a game. Oh, oh you better dude, not play. Let, let, let me go. Look, yeah. I'm going to fix you a sandwich and I'm going to go on over to the girl's house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I'm something. Here, because right. that, that, that intensity, it takes a minute to come down because okay. they get you up there. Right. To be right. up way up there. It's yeah. like a boxer. Real quick, though, do you think that in some situations, sometimes that women provoke? Totally. Totally. I do. I, I do. Know. I, I don't, I don't think fighting... If you put yourself fighting, in a man's place, you gotta be prepared. Yeah. You gotta write a play on that one. But see, I'm fighting doesn't know. start, fighting doesn't start with the fist. It starts right with the it brain. Starts with the mind. Mm-hmm. You know, the brain yeah. tells the mouth what to do, what to say, and how all of that, how the, all the physical. So it starts there, and if we have, we have to use wisdom into knowing what not to say and when not to say it. And that works both, both ways. ways. Mm-hmm. Right on. Both ways, because we provoke women mm-hmm. to doing things, you know, I'm going to slice your tires. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, men provoke, you know, oh, the yeah. same way. And I think we have to be accountable for what it is that we're doing. We do. yep. Yes. Amen. Well, you guys, you heard it right here on In the Flow. All right, Tony Grant, Latoya Garrett. Make sure you check out the stage play, The Devil is a Liar. Hashtag on social media, The Devil is a Liar. Or T Dial. Yeah, T Dial. T D I A L. All right, and get in on the conversation. Let them know what you think about the play. And until next time, we will see you right here. In the Flow. All right. That was my point, Tommy. I'm just going to tell you. <laughs> okay. <laughs>